Yesterday we learned that this week's Gospels follow a very simple logic. It is all about telling us some principal passages in the Scripture that proclaim Christ is the manifestation of God's love. Selected, selected passages telling us Jesus manifests God's power, God's love, God's wisdom, God's mercy. So they are not much connected with one another. Yesterday, for example, we have Matthew chapter 4. Today we have Mark chapter 6. But the relationship is that yesterday's gospel and today's gospel are two beautiful and powerful examples of how much we can receive from God's love when we really attend to Jesus' call. So he is the manifestation of God's love. He is. That's the lesson. And that's the reason we have the multiplication of bread in today's gospel. May I underline a couple of verses in today's text? Jesus was moved by pity. That deep compassion, that capacity of carrying our miseries and being interested in our needs, that's the very root of everything that we see in the Gospel. This is not just a teacher trying to get disciples. This is not just a man with a big project trying to achieve everything and to gather everything so that his project becomes successful. This is a compassionate man. This is a compassionate shepherd. This is someone moved by pity. And that brings a lot of questions to my mind. Not the least, what moves me? Is it greed? Is it lust? What moves me? Is it pride? Is it arrogance? Jesus was moved by pity. And that pity, that mercy, that compassion, is what shines from his works, is what, is what flows from his hands, from his teaching. Secondly, I'd like to underline that the disciples were so eager, pressing the Lord to dismiss the people. I think the disciples were fed up with so many people around all the time asking and begging. So they were tired of all that. But Jesus did not. Jesus did not dismiss the people. So he's the one that not only accepts our burdens, but is not dismissing us. Which means, in positive terms, that we can stay by him. Whoever, whoever has found Jesus has found home. Whoever has found Jesus has found resting place. This is my home. I can, I can stay with him. I can remain with him. He's not dismissing me. And that kind of call is so important nowadays because I think that many, many people are spiritually homeless. Well, if you feel that way, now you know it. Jesus is your home.